So the halls of Amenti, right, are like a 4D astral interface. It's one, uh, it holds or it is part of the inorganic holographic insert that the pyramids hold and represent, right? It's mm -hmm. the halls of Amenti hold portals that bring in these other souls, like bring in more Anunnaki, mm -hmm. that thing. They distribute it through the cellular system network, right? But yeah. when you go in there, the uh, yeah, it's sure it's got the Akashic. You know how I feel about that. That's their dossier on you. But what it's got is big macabres running through the centre of it. And all these macabres are being run by harnessed gin and other organics, right? And a lot of those macabres are, are interfaces according to the element that you best work through. So, for example, you may have an, a water elemental as your juju, your best sort of, you know, you've got all the elements, but it's like, you know, the one that sort of, you know, is your thing, is your boo-boo sort of thing. Yeah. So you would have, if you go down in there, you'll see your sense or feel. Um, there's like a, each room or a chamber, and in the chamber there's a whole lot of organics lying down, right, and you'll see them interfaced with an Anunnaki counterpart. And that Anunnaki counterpart has harnessed their elemental uh, sovereignty. And so they're using it for the harps and the fucking, you know, whatever else, da 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 So as Moo's taken over the big macabre, well, of course, she's now going one by one through all these little macabres. So liberation is at hand. But, yeah, the halls of Amenti... They make it out to be some romantic place where it's all so special. Yeah. It's, it's a fucking prison. Yeah, fucking A. Fucking A, it's a prison. It's a prison. Fucking A, it's a prison. It's where I describe it in my book when I first get, the gin first get captured. That's a really good, anyway. That's a great reference point, actually. Good description of that. Yeah. Really well, potent I wrote as well. Like when I've read it. it. You know what I mean? I didn't cut yeah. and paste it. I didn't imagine it. I wrote it from it happening. I always say, write what you know. Yeah. Well, I felt every sentence of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what I'm suggesting now to people is working with the elemental that they're, you know, most au fait with and uncoopting it, removing the magnetics because as you remove the magnetics, you'll have a shot at removing the macabre, the, the geometries and as you move those geometries those seals go so whoever or whatever has been harnessing and using and co-opting and telling this energy what to do sayonara and might i add that's you doing that that's not anyone from the outside just saying no saviour's here no there is no saviour coming you're your own saviour no. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, wow, yeah. Saviour, it's yeah. like what I love is all these no-agers who are fully, they can't help themselves with the saviour meme. They're all, I'm sovereign, I'm sovereign, but as soon as something they think has perceived authority, it's like, tell me, will you? Oh, it's like, it's like they throw it all away and it's like this blind, oh, my God. It's like a switch. And they it's go, actually quite they go oh, oh, no, I'm just being open. You're being open, all right. It's like yeah. suddenly they throw their shit out the window, all the stuff that they've felt before, and this other thing is suddenly the, the authority. Look, I've felt it. I've felt it creeping around. I've felt it looking for vehicles. You know, it's very reminiscent of how this shit started. So now we're forearmed. They can be forewarned. <laughs> Gosh, like, a, like you said, it's like another consciousness invasion. Not really like enough. The one, what it is, is as Moo's uprighted and started to shake shit loose, these fuckers are being shaken loose. So they're looking for a re-enlistment. They're looking for a reattachment. And the thing is, you need a connection with Moo, the organic sentience of this fucking planet, to get through this or to ride with her or whatever you want to fucking say. 
symbiosis. Yeah. Right? A lot of these ones don't have that symbiosis. They've only got a symbiosis with Gaia. <laughs> yeah. You know, poor fuckers. Completely that brings me to, because we talked about the Gaia support pain, right? Yes. So the reason I went Gaia was because... In my experience, Gaia is a construct. It's part of um, the Archon uh, Anunnaki trying to harness Mu's energy. They can't get a direct one, so they're trying to cut and paste hers. <sighs> Look at the other yeah. thing. It's all explained. So had some fun with Flower of Life. We've had the big revelation, but, you know, I have to say it again. So <laughs> when you look at the Flower of Life like this, Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Look at that. Can you see yeah. the cube? Yes. Right. Yeah. Now, yes, Metatron's cube. We've always known it's through it. That's how they've harnessed this reality. That's what their main macabres are based on, right? But when you look at this, this is the Matrix's flower of life. It's finite. Now... I I started, I, how I got into Flower of Life like that was I put the golden mean spiral through it, right? Through it. So it was sort of like opening the potential in my experience. And as a result or whatever the fuck, but this whole fucking upload, download, reload on Flower of Life has been, you know, evident. So it's like this one being the matrix one, the other as you can see, is endless. It has a whole different feel. It doesn't even need the golden mean spiral in it, really. But no. if you use that in healing, it wows her. And, I mean, you know, a test. There is, yeah, there's a, there's a massive difference. Yeah. Massive, massive. My experience yeah. with it, when I, would, when I would use that one that you just held up, it would it would still do certain things, but I felt that it was more of a contained force. I reckon this is Gaia's flower of life. And this is Sophia's. Every time you hold it up that way, I just <laughs> so shit it. I can't you know, do it. it. That way. Yeah. I don't, right? Yeah, that one. But that's what I'm, I'm saying. Just, uh, These false constructs. So when we've gone to Gaia, it feels not like Moo. There's not an organic sentience that's holding. Gaia is not an organic sentience. Done. Right? Then we Peniel's a Stargate or we have the experience with Sophia. Again, it's like another realm of dreaming of Moo's that's been harnessed within organic. Then we go to Mother Earth. Now, for me, that's like a Jurassic Park backdrop. You know, that doesn't have people. I only feel flora and fauna. And interestingly, Adela brought up William Bell from Fringe. Remember he created that world of just the, the Jurassic yeah. Park sort of thing. So, I mean, for me, that's how I get it. Moo is the only organic construct. <laughs> well, she's not a construct. Moo is the only well, yeah. organic sentience that I've, I've been, I, I can feel, sense and know. And, of course, I've seen, sense and felt Panchamama as an organic sentience and I feel that's another dimension of Moo's dreaming. So mm. explaining that one. Yeah. <laughs> you go. No, yeah. No, no, I um no I completely agree. The but there's no comparison from um with Moo to the others. It's like they all differentiate from each other. But Moo as a an entire sentience is just you can't compare it to the others. They're all just Poor versions, really poor, poorly Once you know, versions. once you know. But those people, like a lot of those A10s who were mm. bought here to run realities for these fuckers have not actually connected with Moo. They've all gone straight into the Gaia construct. Yeah, right. So they think they're connecting. Yeah. Well, it's Gaia and <clears throat> Gaia and they're connecting with Gaia that is a construct of or a cut, cut, haze, you know, it's like a harm. It's not Moo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No yeah. So hopefully, so all you know, A10s try move. But maybe, maybe they were never meant 
to do it. Maybe they were only get, meant to get a taste and they get shipped off planet and they run another reality off in the fifth with the other AI that's sniffing around. You know? Who knows? Who cares? Because really that's so – makes me feel sick, the nausea. It's just like it's so not – no, see ya. Back to the Mooster and the organic program. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know? I mean, Jesus. Jesus. It's the only way to go. It's, I find that um, to try and even figure out what, what could happen or what could possibly sort of evolve from this, it's, it's almost like, oh, no, nah, it's just I can't be bothered. I just want to focus on the connection with Moo and yes. see what happens from there. That's the all I want. thing that with most of the organics are just suddenly recoiling from any AI interaction or, or keeping it minimum in the sense of really like, I just want to see, I just got to, or, you know, I'm connecting with so-and-so yeah. or whatever. It doesn't fill the brief. It's like I can connect with you on the inner planes and it's all good and you get what I need you to get or I can text for an hour and a half and mm-hmm. give it to you. and then we have that barrier yeah. of words. But anyway, develop your internet, people, because I can tell you now the internet's going down. It's not because Connection Russia existence. or ISIS or any of those fucking tarts are doing it. It's Moo. She's like getting of this mm. plastic shit out of my life. But what a great distraction all that kind of political stuff is to it. It's oh a my it's God. a complete distraction. Yeah. Like it's a sensational one. But you know, <laughs> anything I've, to try and prevent it. I've never seen distraction personified so beautifully. It, wow, wow. And when I say distraction, what I mean mm-hmm. is, you know, it's fun to ask questions and carry on and whatever. You know, we do it with oracles and da da da. It's more the distraction being outside is suddenly my answer rather than inside. I have it all along. Yeah. Let me concentrate on finding my own answers, not being, yeah. you know, enveloped in some fucking bullshit emotional manipulative wave of feeling suddenly safe and special from the outside. Yeah. So, yeah, people. How people. What? Um, but how people, yeah, quickly get into it. The distraction is just, but it's so obvious though for me to kind of witness that, to suddenly. Yeah, but you've got um, a pretty, pretty deep connection with self that informs. You're not searching. These people are searching. They're unhappy. They haven't found it. No matter how many courses and books and whatever they've done, they're still searching. Now, while I'm still exploring the search for me is within i've got my google (laughs) i'm happy with my library thanks because it's vast and never ending but i'm connecting with it on my own terms through my own experience not being told not an outside thing and this is atlan ra all over the fuck again we're returning they talked about mu rising as in lemura it's rising all right it's the people remembering inside is where we create. Sure, we create our reality, but at the moment we're creating a reality that's informed by the outside conditions. People are realising they create their reality, but there's the fine line. They still haven't jumped to the fact that they create it from here first. Then it manifests outside. Mm. Yes, yes. They yes, say yes. they know it, but they don't. They keep no. looking. I mean, I do things like, well, you know I'm obsessed with the weather because I'm always obsessed knowing when it's going to rain. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're on the <laughs> water and I just, you know, it's my thing. So instead of looking at the weather now, I tune in to find out. Hone your skills. Do you know what I mean? Hone your skills. Yeah. Buying on it. I rarely look at the time unless I've got clients and clients know that. (laughs) What I mean is I don't have a schedule to time. 
Now, some people can't help that. They're on work schedules. I get it. But whenever you can, disengage and feel your own truth, feel your own experience, you know? I mean, yeah, I guess as so. these compartmentalizations of moves leave, all these timelines of moves are collapsing and it's insane because people are just having, what was your timeline? What was your timeline? You know, like it's really in their faces. But the ones that seem to have it really in their faces like that, they're not organics. No. I... Well, if they are organics, they're not connected. That's why they're questioning it. Because if they're connected, they can feel it's actually all them. You know, and it integrates easier. It's like they're trying to use the mind to validate or to understand what's an inner understanding. Yeah. You know, you have to yeah. embrace it and embody it. So, uh, yeah, it's an interesting ride out there because it's a fucking shit fight, mate. All the organics, as I say, they're coming to a place of wakey, wakey, hands off, snakey. And these inorganics and A10s are also coming to a, an awakening, but their awakening for them is happening in such a way that their minds can't cope and there's fucking madness out there. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm witnessing that. It's, I wouldn't say it goes as far as say it's scary, but it's unnerving. Mm, it's that's really a nice one. Yeah, it's not scary yeah. in the sense of, oh, I'm in danger. It's more unnerving like, oh, hey, step aside. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's just, it's really, oh. okay. but, um, but yeah, here in the city it's manic. It's really quite manic. There is something going on around here that is just everything's a little bit heightened. The teeth are on edge everywhere. Mm. So oh, it's, I imagine. Yeah. I'll expect a trip to Casavira soon. <laughs> <laughs> the refuel. Refuel yeah, and refuel. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. I get it. I fucking totally get it. Seriously. I need a trip to Casavira occasionally. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to leave, man. Um, but it is, like you said, it's um, it's man up time. It really is. It, there's no break. It's not over yet, even though she's upright. Exactly. And you. as I said, start to cultivate your inner experience because that's the thing you can trust, your feelings. Your emotions have been manipulated. They can be manipulated. They're a reaction, yep. your gut instinct. That's what it means to stay neutral, is not react. It's not sit on the fucking fence. It's not react. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> I'm, it's just dropping in in all different levels. Oh, my God. As, as I hear you talk. I feel gravity coming yeah. on. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Right. Imagine if gravity just completely became a non-existent thing imagine do you think i mean perhaps gravity isn't even what they say it is oh gosh <laughs> too early it's in the too early in the morning to have like you know mind blown oh wow everything That's actually you've really been told time to unlearn and relearn your own yes. Or remember your own. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Motherfuck yeah. You know, including all the bullshit no age fuckery you've been told. We are one. Oh. Yeah, you are one. Legion, fuck off. You're not my one, dog. Yeah. Hell to the no. That's a good old meme to piggyback on in, isn't it? Everyone's going. But it's it's so offensive because <laughs> it plays on the empathy. Oh. And it's and it just it's so insidious and it's just like well it's not because it's not true we're not all one it'd be so nice if we were but we're not no we're fucking not 